Hi, welcome. In this session, we are going to see how to create the table using the PG Admin 4 GUI tool. I'm already connected to the uh, Postgre, and uh, here we go. So we are going to create a table test. So we'll say create table test. Uh, this is the column name. This is column data type. This is another column name, uh, data type, column name, data type, column name, and data type. So this is the way it works. So you just execute it. I think this table exists, so let me drop the table first table is dropped now let's create the table so we say create table table name in in uh, round brackets you have to give the column name and the data type you just execute it and it says uh, query returned successfully in 105 milliseconds now let's see uh, the details of the table so we you just say select asterisk from the table name you can see there are no rows because data has not been inserted. So just four columns, empty four columns with their data types, ID, name, age, and address. Now let's create another table, which is department, create table, table name. And uh, there are three columns, department number, department name, and location, and their respective uh, data types. So we have a primary key constraint enabled on department number. So let's create this. Uh, it is executed now let's say select star from department execute it and you have three columns now if you wanted to see the information related to the table you just uh, can uh, execute select a star from pg underscore catalog dot pg tables where a schema name is not equal to so internal catalog tables will not be shown but uh, all others which you have created will be shown right so what I have done in, uh, initially is I had created uh, eMultiSkills uh, database and inside the database you have created the table. So if you go down and uh, look under the uh, public schema because I haven't mentioned any schema. So if you see the two tables department and test they have been created over there and if when you fire PG catalog uh, dot PG tables as well you will see uh, there are two tables which are created test and department since you haven't mentioned any schema name so they will go to public schema name of uh, eMulti skills database uh, here this is the table owner and they, these are the table spaces which you have uh, if you have mentioned it will appear otherwise it will go like this you can find the information more details over here select a star from information underscore schema dot tables where table name equal table schema equal to so just wanted to see under the uh, public schema uh, which uh, which tables are created so it will show there are two tables one is a test another is department they are base tables and uh, the, these are the details if you wanted to see the column details again you have to execute uh, information schema dot columns and it will show you the details so it is select uh, column name from information score schema dot columns where table name equal to and whatever table name you mention you just wanted to show the columns of uh, uh, test table so it will show you over here so these are the two tables if you right click over here these are the different things you can do you can create a similar table you can count the rows you can delete or drop you can drop cascade if you have some constraints over here you can export or import you can do some maintenance also you can truncate you can backup restore and a lot of things are there so you can see the properties of the table as well so GUI is uh, is good tool to view all these details. So like uh, what we uh, shared, like uh, you can uh, see the create uh, uh, table uh, command from here. You can count the rows, delete, drop. You can take an export or import. You can do the maintenance. You can create the script or delete a script. You can truncate the table. You can back up the table. You can restore it from somewhere. You can uh, uh, retrieve the records and you can see the different columns on it so this is how basically we deal with the uh, uh, tables in other session we will see how to alter the tables and do some modification like drop and delete I hope this is going to work 
and help you and uh, thanks for watching